your girl Courtney and welcome back to my channel. We're back with a new one. <laughs> Today we're going to be viewing a woman who lives rent free on my YouTube page. Who is this woman and why does she want me to become a conservative? Um, I have been seeing her ads everywhere. I'm not understanding who this woman is and why she keeps harassing me. Please stop. Even when I say I'm not interested, YouTube will still recommend her. I have not watched any of her videos, but just from her titles, I know that she's different. She's very different from me. But today we're going to be watching a few of her videos because honestly, I just want to see what this lady is about. YouTube is trying to force feed me her content, so we're going to see what she offers, okay? Let's actually read her about page. Classically Abby is a commentary opera. Mm, should be singing, let's see. lifestyle channel all viewed from a classic perspective let's be classic hashtag classic crew i mean i think i'm classic <laughs> i'm a classy girl define classic judged over a period of time to be the highest quality and outstanding of its kind okay she's teaching us to be very high quality and i'm all for high quality so i want to know how to become more classic classically abby is obviously an expert at this topic because her name is classically abby <laughs> uh, why you should dress modestly get the attention you deserve okay let's see what she has to say because i have no issue with people dressing modestly i don't really care how you dress you just don't be a rude person that's all i care about i think i dress decently maybe when i go out with friends i, I don't really dress the most modest but it's like if i went to a bar like yeah no i'm not i'm showing my tits <laughs> hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today ladies um what if i was a man where we're going to be talking about modesty, why it's important, and why it doesn't mean looking like garbage. I'm scared. Did she blink at all? Modesty is dressing in a way that doesn't sexualize your body. Who do you want to be desirable to? And do you want to be noticed for being beautiful or being sexy? I feel like I could be beautiful and sexy. <laughs> is that not possible? Modesty is about treating your body with respect. Abby, <laughs> Abby, when did showing my stomach in a crop top mean that I don't respect myself? Oh, <laughs> Bill, you're so funny. <sighs> Modesty is about treating your body with respect. There's a girl in here with a crop top. <laughs> a crop. Men are visual creatures, not emotional ones. What? We, 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 we. Why are we even talking about men? We talking about me. Just because a man is a visual creature does not have anything to do with the fact that I'm dressing the way I'm dressing. Let's talk about us. Keep it on the same gender. It's about dressing beautifully and attractively, but not garishly. And it's about dressing in public in a way that's appropriate for everyone. From children to grandparents to moms and dads. Shut up! She's making me tired. She's making me irritated. I need her to be specific. If you wear a certain outfit, you have no control over other people's emotions. If a dad looks at me and he's a little bit attracted to me because I might be wearing shorts, that's not my fault. Close your eyes, sir. No one told you to look at me. Why am I worried about what's appropriate to other people? Shouldn't I be more worried about what makes me feel the most confident? Think about it, Abby. Think about it. I was put in this world to live for myself, not live for Bill and Anne and their little three kids. I don't care about them. When you meet a guy and immediately have a connection, you have one chance to make an impression. If you are wearing something incredibly revealing, it will be difficult for him to focus on your personality. Instead, he might be focusing on your physical appeal. Of course, there are men who will look at you this way no matter what, but more men will think of you as a sex object if you dress like one than if you dress like a lady. A lady? Dress like a lady? What does a lady dress like? What does a lady dress like? What is this? Hold on, wikiHow, please don't offend me. <laughs> I don't know what that skirt was, but um, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> mm -mm. If that's what a lady is, then I guess I'm a man. Hey, my name is Bill. Does that mean you should look like garbage when you meet someone? Absolutely not. I'm guessing you don't want to attract the kind of man who is only looking to spend one night with you. I don't like this advice. You could be wearing clothes that is covering every piece of skin on your body and men will still want to sleep with you. It does not matter what you're wearing, but it's like, 
why are you making it seem like you have a better chance than me? <laughs> He's really not gonna pay attention to my personality at all. If I have a crop top on, he's gonna be so focused on my belly button that he's not gonna even notice that I have a nice personality. Like, are you, is that what you're trying to tell me? He's gonna like you better, Abby. Hmm? And here's the thing. You can dress modestly and beautifully. There are so many examples of this. Look at Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton? I can bet that Kate Middleton was not wearing what she's currently wearing when she met Prince William. I just know. I just know she was not wearing this. 50 years old, do you want to be trying to be praised for your body or praised for your family? My family? My family? If I'm 50 and I have a bomb body, please talk about it every day. Every day. Proud, I'm 50 years old with a nice body. Who would not be happy about that? Abby wouldn't. Abby wouldn't. It's amazing to work out and stay fit, but I hope that when I'm 50, people are talking about my accomplishments as a mother, as a wife, and as a woman with values. You want that to be your biggest accomplishment at 50 years old? Being a wife? That's literally the most common thing to be. The more of the story is Abby doesn't believe that you can be beautiful and sexy at the same time. You have to choose one. Abby also believes that you can't get a man that actually cares about your personality because you have a sexy body. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm in the editing station. Okay, anyway. So, I noticed that there's a couple videos that I probably should have reacted to, but I didn't react to, and I wish I reacted to because, um, why we should not just believe all women. What? You investigate and make sure that there is proof. I just want to say to anyone that's listening to this, please believe all women and all men who come out about sexual assault. Just like how the court system is set up to be innocent until proven guilty, please believe all sexual assault victims until it's proven otherwise. This is extremely, extremely problematic. There are so many people who do not come out and speak about sexual assault because one, victims of sexual assault are assaulted by people that they know, they keep it a secret, and eventually it's so traumatizing that they finally have to speak up. And then they're told they're a liar because there's no exact evidence to prove that it happened just the tip nobody prepares to be sexually assaulted and sexual assault is not something that you can always document while this was bad um her marriage is her personality trait <laughs> you don't know the value in your own life until you're living for another person so my life is useless until I get married 10 things you should know before becoming a wife take the time before you're married to learn how to cook <laughs> ladies stop hooking up a Jewish wife's message do you is your name a Jewish wife a Jewish wife. We don't care that you're the wife of a Jewish man. It doesn't make the video more clickable. It really doesn't. Five reasons marriage is awesome. Why I love my conservative life. Let's talk about why marriage is the best choice I ever made. My marriage is so important. It's so lovely. And it really is so fulfilling. I mean, being married is what makes you feel like you have a goal in life, a mission. So my life is useless. <laughs> Conservative women, it's our time. Oh my, they're starting a revolution. Celebrities, influencers, and YouTubers. So much of the time, it feels like one worldview, one position. Is she running for president? Many of them don't say outright what their politics are, and none of them will say what I'm about to. I'm a conservative influencer. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, how many dislikes does this have? Oh my god! <laughs> um, 46,000 dislikes? Wow. We've been silent long enough. Let's take the culture back. Culture? Conservative women are the backbone of American society. We prioritize marriage and children, support our husbands, and support ourselves. Nobody's been paying attention to them. <laughs> All the people in the background are just doing their own thing. Um, is this your wedding day? No one is paying attention. Is marriage and Not children. a single person. You've been told that you don't care about women because you care about a child in her womb. You've been silenced about your views but not anymore. Why is she acting like she's been so oppressed? Who is oppressing you? Is she trying to start a revolution with making this video? I'm not understanding. We've been silenced, but not anymore. What's going on? What is going on? Just talk. Just open your mouth and talk. The biggest problem that I have though is people that speak and have an opinion while also shutting down another person's opinion. She mentioned that people claim that conservatives only care about the child and not the woman. Well, I mean, most of the time y'all are trying to control the woman's decision. Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. If you don't believe in abortion, for example, don't do it. It's really not that hard. 
but don't force other people to not have an abortion because you've put it in law that you can't have abortions please stop relax worry about yourself like is, this is not a hard concept to understand let's take back the culture so women can be women let's talk about how to dress fashionably and conservatively whoa they're long people <laughs> It's giving me very Slenderman vibes. Let's talk about how to do your makeup for a night at the opera, not a night at the club. So you're against clubs too? I'm an introvert, so like going to clubs is not really my thing. What if I don't like opera music? You know, I fall asleep. The one time I went to an opera, I was gone. I don't even know what happened. I No, I'm not gonna do my makeup just to sleep. Mm -mm. Let's talk about life from a conservative perspective and let's not be afraid to do it. She's giving me a lot of energy. I like it. Let's, let's not, not be, be afraid, afraid to, to do, do it. it. <laughs> Why I came out as conservative? Came out? We coming out now? Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about why I decided to come out as a conservative influencer. But it was really important to me that I actually come out and say straight out, I'm conservative. But why? Why'd you have to do that? We didn't ask. Shadi, we didn't ask. Because I have been afraid to say outright that I am a conservative for a lot of different reasons. The liberals have been coming for her. <laughs> That's actually so sad but funny at the same time. I just wrote a comment that said this is her interview application for Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> How to dress modestly even when it's hot outside. This is something you can wear on the boardwalk, something that's a little bit more casual but is still a little bit dressy. I just want to know why she added the scarf. Is it summer or is it winter? <laughs> After watching her videos, I think I've had a change of heart. I think I'm a conservative, but yeah. Sigh! And I just want to say this di little disclaimer before we end the video. I am not bashing her belief. I'm not bashing her for being a conservative. If anything, I just have an issue when people state their opinions as if it's a fact. You're telling me to dress modestly while also telling me that you don't dress modestly. I'm disrespecting my own body. Stop. Stop. Just talk about dressing modestly without having to talk about other types of dressing. Um, you know, the only thing I can say about this video is I'm glad that she can confidently speak her opinions now. She has broken the chains of oppression and she's thriving now. She, she can speak freely as if she wasn't able to speak freely before. Also, are you rich? Are you a rich woman? Because ads are not cheap. Ads are not cheap. So you're spending big bucks just to get 41,000 dislikes on a video. Follow me on my Instagram before you leave this video right now, right now, right, right, right now. I'll see you guys all in my next video. I love you and peace.